Hey, Steve. My husband Brendan and I have eight kids. And we, so we have a little parenting question for you. Our oldest, a girl, she's um, a little strong-headed. Mm -hmm. um, she got married at the age of 19, very much against what we wanted. But like I said, she's a very strong-headed girl. Um, that lasted a little over a year. She's divorced. She's 22 now, and she's got another relationship going on. So what we want to know is how can we approach her not rushing into this and getting married again, making the same mistake, but also not trying to push her and say, hey, this is what we don't want you to do and her doing it again. Okay, I think every parent runs into this. You have one of those childs that we all have, one that thinks they know everything. <laughs> they don't know a damn thing, but they think they know everything. And she got married once, it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. Now she's in a relationship now. Yes. It's tough because, you know, the very thing you tell them not to do is the very thing you push them to do. It's a crazy thing with kids. I don't, I can't explain it. I don't know why it is. I wasn't like that as a boy growing up because, you know, I had a father, so it was a little bit different. What I try to do to my kids when I see them making a mistake, I try to sit them down and just go, okay, hey, let me talk to you about something. This is what you did. What, what mistake do you think you made in this whole thing? Why do you think it didn't work? What would you have done differently? And let them talk. And then just ask them problems that they can solve themselves. If you could do it over again, what would you do differently? Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, man, it's an amazing thing when you let them talk it out. And they're going to say it, well, I should have waited. Uh, okay, 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 cool. Now you got what you needed to hear. I should have waited. Then you go, so how long are we going to wait with this new guy? Yeah. You know. And then, Dad, you can always step in, because what well, I've ran off probably, I know at least eight, eight boys <laughs> that thought they were serious contenders between my four daughters. And uh, I had this one guy that came over and I said, uh, I don't really think that you're right for my daughter, so I think you should stop seeing her. He said, Mr. Harvey, with all due respect, but I don't think that decision is yours to make. And then he kept on reasoning with me. I said, hey, man, it's not an option. I want you to stop seeing my daughter because you're not right for her. Because once they get 18, they can make decisions on their own. So you just got to keep being the best you can. Try to talk to them and let them talk themselves out of it. All right, that's the best I got for you. Next up, Takesha, where are you? Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.